in the, uh, as a four hour, the seven hour riders and racing great, but the uh, lead riders pumping out 27s, you all pumping out 28. How'd you find it today? I noticed a bit of blood on your hand as well. Yeah, I'm not sure how that came about. Um, yeah, I struggled a bit in the first half of the race. Uh, I had a fairly big breakfast and um, you know, I couldn't really breathe properly and my heart rate wasn't really getting up. But the second half, I started to feel really good. So I think if I had gone the seven-hour race, I think I might have had a, a pretty good uh, finish of the, of the event. But uh, that's the way it is. And next time, I won't eat so much before the race. <laughs> well, well, Andrew, I tell you what, it was touch and go. You only won by exactly 60 seconds over Tate and then another couple of minutes back to Andre. So were you aware that the uh, the line honours for the solo men was so close? No, I didn't. Uh, I was seeing Tate at the top of the hill. Um, so then well, I sort of had a feeling that he wouldn't pass me down the hill. There's not too much to gain down there. So I... Uh, <coughs> Had a bit of a dig down the hill and um, yeah, they uh, held him off, so I was pretty lucky. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for our solo men champions of the Mount Bike Grand Prix Round 4.